Hey, hey, Tony Gaston here. Listen to me. Now, can't talk too loud, so hopefully my mic picking me up on his headset. Because I got a guest in my office and, well, in the other office across the hall, across the hall on an important call, so I don't want to talk too loud. But um, y'all forgive me. Well, hate to come to you with this news. Hate to be the one to break it to you. But I want to apologize to you, you know, just on the, on the behalf of everybody. You know, I want to apologize to you. And break it to you. <clears throat> want to let you know that you have been scammed. You've been scammed. You know, you've been you've been duped greatly. You know, I was just on a call with a client and she was telling me that in her industry, you know, what she does on social media, she was telling me that there are copywriters who charge thousands of dollars to do the copywriting for your website. And copywriting should never be more than a hundred dollars per page. So a four page website should cost four hundred dollars. And she was saying that people are being paid twenty five hundred dollars to do copywriting for a five page website. And here's the thing. I understand people take themselves seriously and they value themselves much more than what they're worth. But you have to remember that with a lot of these pricing structures, these pricing structures in America are typically set by Caucasians. And when you look at the track record of Caucasians and to the Caucasians who are on this channel, I ask for your understanding and for your forgiveness for telling this truth. But one thing if you notice about whites in business is they are in life, they are cutthroat. You know, if you ask the Native Americans and if you ask black Americans who went through slavery and Jim Crow, you will find that white people, on average, there are exceptions to the rule. There are people who grow and evolve and change, and they're not like their their forefathers. They're not like their great-great-grandfather was or their great-grandfather or even their father. But whites have a very interesting strategy and mentality about life and about business and they dominate at all costs they want to dominate at all costs and they don't want things to be level they don't want things to be fair they want an advantage across the board and this is where the pricing has been set so there's a guy on social media who years ago i was in his office this white guy and he had a software and he had this software that's like a membership software if you want to start a membership site. And I talked to him and he was like, I was like, well, how much for the site? You know, use the software. He was like, it's 50,000. <laughs> he says $50,000. And I was like, okay, $50,000. And the site was very, very, it was very hard to use. Like it was created in India. And I could clearly tell that it was created in India because once you see the way Indians build sites and do applications, it's it's very, it's really overthought. It's it's really overthought. It's it's very intricate. Whereas American development and design is much more simple. It's it's much more clean and easy. But in India, English is not their first language. They are extremely, extremely smart. I, sometimes I say Indians are the smartest people on the planet, but their design style is totally different. So this guy, I go in the back end and it's just so much going on. It's so much going. It is way too confusing. It is super confusing and super hard to do. Like you gotta go through like a super long training to learn how to use it. And he wants $50,000. And I remember being in the office with him and somebody reached out to me on an email and I was like, yeah, so, so, somebody just reached out to me. They want me to do like a brand deal or, you know, they asked me my price. I was like, you know, what should I charge for something like that? And then he said, he said, just give them an astronomical price. He was like, just give them a crazy price, like twenty five thousand dollars. 
and just see if they'll pay it. And I was like, he doesn't realize that he just told me that's what he's doing with this clunky software. He's giving a crazy price to see if someone will pay it. And so I reached out to another black guy who is a speaker, who big time speaker. I, I reached out to his manager. I'm talking to his manager and I'm like, hey, this guy used your name and said that y'all are using his membership system. You know, is that true? He was like, yeah. He was like, yeah, man, we using it. We making X amount, X amount of hundreds of thousands a month using it. And and I was like, okay, cool. He was like, but he was like, but T, how you gonna do it? It costs like fifty thousand. He said it costs like fifty thousand to get on it. I'm like, I got that. I'm like, that that ain't nothing. And he's like, oh, okay, all right. And so I, it was shocking to me that he assumed I was broke just because I'm not showing everything that I'm doing. But I definitely 100% was not about to pay $50,000 because their, their competition that does the same exact thing pretty much charges $99 a month. So you're paying $1,200 a year and you don't have to give them a profit split. This guy wanted $50,000 to sign up and then 20% of your profits. But it's not helping you do anything as far as loading your site with members so he's eating off of you and this was just a very greedy structure that all of these giants in the space when i say giants i mean the biggest of the biggest in the speaking and coaching space was using this guy's software and i'm like this is absolutely crazy is everybody dumb like is, is everybody i don't know is everybody so money hungry that they just willing to pay whatever like, but this makes absolute no sense. So I told the guy, I'll give you zero dollars for the software and I'll give you 30 percent. And so he took the deal. So it's like, how you go from fifty thousand dollars to zero dollars and then 30 percent. But then at that point, I'm like, he's not helping me market. Yeah, I'm using the software, but he's not helping me market. I'm not about to make this guy rich. So I didn't I didn't make him rich. And so, you know, I promoted the site. I probably got 100 to 200 members on it. Nothing crazy. And then they charge a flat $1,000 a month to use the site. So on top of the 30%, they want, they want a minimum of 1,000 and then 30% on top of that. Like your 30% has to be 1,000. So then I wrote in and said, hey, I can't pay you $1,000 a month because I'm not even promoting the site right now. So it's not even making $1,000 or it may just make 2,000. So instead of me giving you 600, you got me giving you 1,000. So they waived 1,000. So now it shows me Everything is negotiable. And I talked to people, that somebody reached out to me and they were like, hey, we build websites. We'd like to build websites and all of that for your coaches at mymentor.life. And so here I am, I own mymentor.life. It was a white guy, white company that built it. When they built mymentor.life, they had the, the price for membership to be a coach on the site because I don't take a percentage of your bookings. So when you sign up on mymentor.life as a coach or a consultant, when you get booked because you're sharing your link, but I'm also marketing the site. So if you need a coach or a consultant, go to mymentor.life. See how I'm marketing the site? So I'm marketing the site and how many other people see this video, that's how many people now know about mymentor.life, not .com, .life. And so they go, they look through the pictures and they book you. When they book you, if you charge $50 an hour, that whole $50 goes to you. The people had the price set at $300 a month. The reason why they had it set at $300 a month because they were like, somebody's building a coaching business. If coaching is gonna be your business, to only pay $300 a month to be marketed to millions of people, what is $300 a month? Guess what I actually charge? Nineteen ninety nine a month, twenty dollars a month. So went from three hundred to twenty dollars a month, and then I don't take a percentage of what you make. So most people they charge you up front and they want a percentage. So I'm doing the complete opposite. So what I've learned is that for one, you make more money when you charge less, because when you charge less, more people can afford it. Seventy percent of Americans cannot touch one thousand dollars right now. 60% of Americans cannot touch $500 right now. You actually make more money when you charge less. So I learned this myself because if I do a sale on my products and if I do a 50% sale, 
I may make $2,500. If I do a 90% sale, I'll make $8,000. And so I learned that your pricing strategy should actually be less and you give what you can give. And what you want to give is 10x the value of what you're charging. What you're paying out here is you're paying 10 times what the value you're receiving. So people are saying, oh, don't charge less, add more value. It's not that much value in the world. Jesus Christ died on a cross for free. You didn't have to pay a dime. Do not come telling me that I need to pay you $5,000 to build a freaking website that is a template that looks like a million other websites and then try to lie and say, oh, it is custom coded. How is it custom coded? When you sent me your portfolio and all of your clients' websites look the exact same with different colors. This is not custom coding. What are you talking about? I remember a young lady came to me for a website and she was like, we build websites. Okay, how much you charge? Send me, send me your examples. Send me the examples. All the sites look the same. I said, what's the price? $10,000. I went on GoDaddy, bought a .com, built the same exact site, pretty much the same exact site for free. Meaning I'm paying GoDaddy $100 for the year, not for free, but I built it myself just by clicking their picture, hitting replace, putting my picture, clicking their copy. The copy is written perfectly. They, they have like a, a copywriter for these templates or they got AI. The copy is perfect. If you choose the right industry for your website, the copy is already perfect. I made me change a few words. I'm sending it out. My audience that I'm selling to they're not going and looking at templates on GoDaddy, so they don't know that this copy isn't my copy, they, but they see it speaks to what I do. So you got a website in a box that you could pay $100, and then if you have absolutely no computer knowledge, I charge my clients $500 to $750 to build their website. It takes me an hour, two hours max. I send it to them, and they're like, wow, Tony, this looks good. I'm like, the same look, people are charging $5,000 for this. So I want to come on here and let you know that you are being scammed. You are being scammed. You're paying insane prices. It's guys and, he, and these black guys, and it's the thing. As black people in America, we come from slavery. So when you see black people charging crazy prices, they learned it from white people because we weren't even in a place to charge a price. So we had to learn these strategies and most black people in business, their mentors are white. So my client who makes millions of dollars and gets all this knowledge, all of her mentors are white males. She's a black female. All of her mentors are white males and she's learning how to do all of this stuff. So she knows how to do everything Donald Trump people know how to do. She know how to do all this different stuff and she learning all of this stuff, which are like loopholes in society loopholes to not be able to be traced online loopholes to not have to pay taxes in america all of these legal loopholes that she learned from white males so i'm not i'm not racist or anything i'm just letting you know that these business structures are put in by certain cultures and then those cultures prey on cultures who lack education so because we come from slavery we are their biggest prey. So they come to us and they say, oh, now y'all have advanced. You have a degree. You have a great job, but you don't know anything about business. Yeah, a, a website is 12,000. People just wrote me the other day saying they build websites and they want to build sites for the coaches on mymentor.life. I asked the lady how much for the website, you know, their little packages they do. She said we start at 12,000. Ma'am. 70% of Americans do not have $1,000. Who has $12,000? Who has $12,000 to give you for a website, ma'am? If you don't get out of my inbox, ma'am, listen, y'all being scammed. So I'm going to tell you, if, if you see this video, before you pay for any service, before you pay for any service, you send me an email. Send me an email at support at tonygas.com say tony is this service a fair price and if not where can i get this service done at this level for a better price 
and I'm going to send you I'm going to send you somewhere to go get it done. See, I used to sell drugs before I changed my life. I was in the streets because for me and where I'm from, that's a rite of passage, you know, being a dope boy. So I used to sell drugs. One of the the main lessons in being a drug dealer is cutting out the middleman. You you become the plug. You become the plug or you get connected directly to the plug. The plug grows it. The plug manufactures it. So the plug can charge you a much lesser price than the middlemen. Sometimes it's two or three middlemen. So the reason why when you say, hey, I want social media management or I want graphic design or I want web development, the reason why the price is oftentimes astronomical is because there's two or three middlemen. Sometimes the person you're talking to is a middleman and the person who is actually building what you're asking to be built lives in a third world country or another country that the conversion rate from USD to their money is astronomical and they work about 20 to 22 hours a day making a living and they're they're, they're eating well, but they charge 90 percent less than America. So now Americans and this is what I found out when I'm building apps and I'm building websites. When I go to India, India can actually build it the way Americans build. But if you don't tell them that you want it built American style, like design and functionality, they'll build it the way they like to build, which is much more intricate because they're actually smarter. And so it's much more intricate and it's much more like you got to have more of a knowledge to understand, you know, the back end. But for the same exact product, the same exact app, with an Indian development company, you paying 10% of what the starting price is for an American development company. But the American development company is using the same Indian developers. And we are being scammed and we are being duped. So the reason why people will come to me and they'll be like, Tony, you know, how do you make this amount of money but it looks like you make this amount of money and you have this and this and this and this and this it's because i'm actually living off of my money because i'm not going out and paying astronomical prices for courses and for services and getting scammed so somebody come to me and like tony i want you to write my book and i'm like okay the fee is ten thousand dollars for me to ghostwrite your book Oh, I already paid ten thousand dollars to somebody else, but they didn't deliver. That's, that, that's not my problem. So they, so she paid ten thousand dollars to get zero dollars worth of production. I charge ten thousand dollars, but give a hundred and twenty-five thousand dollars worth of value, because ghostwriters who do what I do in the industry, the white male ghostwriters, they charge a hundred and twenty-five thousand dollars, but with a hundred and twenty-five thousand dollars they may get one client a year. Me, I could get 50 clients in a year because I could write a book in three days. So now I can charge $10,000, write the book in three days, five days, get the book back to my client, and I could write 50 books in a year. So I can make 500,000 instead of making 125,000, and I'm using my gift that I love to use and that I'm capable of using. And so this is the thing. Actually, when you're more humble and you're more realistic and you charge more of a fair price, you end up making more money because you're undercharging and over delivering instead of overcharging and under delivering. This guy came to me and he did SEO. This was before I knew anything about SEO and I got scammed this time. But unfortunately, it wasn't my money. It was a business partner's money that that was lost. And it's unfortunate. But it also is fortunate because God knows my heart and God knows that if it was my money, that I would have been in prison for homicide. So God really was looking out for me and the person's money who it is. He is a billionaire, so he didn't even trip over it. But the guy comes and tells me, hey, I do SEO for like car lots, like car companies. He was like Google number one Chevy dealer in Dallas. And I Googled it and like friendly Chevrolet came up. Dallas, Texas. And the guy was like, I do their SEO. I charge them 35,000 a month. I was like, okay. I was like, well, I'm an individual. I'm just one person. Like, what would you charge me? He said, eh, I'll charge you 5,000 a month. 
I'm like, okay, so what am I going to get for this SEO? He was like, when someone searches how to be a life coach or when someone searches life coach, you're going to come up on the first page of Google. So here it is. I paid a guy $5 from, from a business partner. My business partner sent 5000 Next month, 5000 Next month, 5000 He told me to take like three months for me to start ranking. So anywhere, like second page, third page, whatever. So I'm, I'm Googling life coach, how to be a life coach. I'm nowhere to be found. Reach out to him. I said, hey, you said this SEO is going to be putting me up on the first page of Google. And he was like, oh, I just went into your site. This is day 91. He was like, oh, I just went into your site. And the meta tag was never changed. I'm like, so you charge $35,000 a month. And you mean to tell me that it's been three months. You've taken $15,000 from my company. And you didn't check the meta tag on day one? Oh, well, I told your I told your web designer to change it. Okay. You're the one being five thousand being paid five thousand dollars a month. My web designer is not being paid a dime. He has already been paid to do what he does, and then I pay him a hundred dollars anytime I need him to build a new page for a new course or a new event. So he's not on retainer like you are at five thousand dollars. Man, I threaten that man life. Man, I, man, listen, it, I still have nightmares by it to this day. Like, I, I, I want you to pray for me right now that you don't see me on the news. Tony Gaskins arrested for murder and may face life. Listen, I had it took everything in me not to take that man's life. You hear me? Because what I transitioned from is people losing their life over five dollars. This man stole fifteen thousand dollars. I learned my lesson then. Never again. Never again am I going to trust white, black, purple, green at no astronomical price without a baseline comparison to where I know. Some, so guess what? Guess what? <laughs> Here comes an Indian man. He sends me an email. The reason why he sent me an email is probably because he was the one doing the work. So how else does this man get my email? He sends me an email. His name was Ashish. I remember Ashish. And Ashish used to write me every other day. So he sends me an email. He says, Tony, I could do SEO for you. I said, okay, what's your, what's your charge? <laughs> he said, $200 a month. <laughs> $200 a month? So I go back to my same business partner who gave me the 15. And I say, hey, man, we already waited 15 with this white guy in Dallas. I said, here go an Indian guy that wrote in. And I'm talking to a white guy and he won't charge $200 a month. He said, okay, send him my way. So he hired him for $200 a month to do the SEO for his gym. He owned a gym. And like two months in, he was like, hey, the SEO is working. He's like, it's working. Like we, like we're ranking, like we getting more customers. I said, are you kidding me? I said, so this guy is getting you customers and, and you're ranking off $200 a month. And we paid this other guy $5,000 a month. I said, Jesus be a chill pill. Jesus be some volume. Jesus be peace and, and serenity. I said, Lord, Lord, you know everything in me. I'm about to put this man in his grave. You hear me? So the woman that connected me, which was a white woman, she was my client. And me and her never spoke since that day. I, like, she, I lost a, a client. She lost a coach slash friend slash mentor slash business partner and you know, like she was raising black boys and everything and like I was mentoring them like being around them and you know and all that like we never spoke again after that day because I, I, she felt so embarrassed she felt so bad because she was like yeah I see them in the office they have a warehouse office they're doing the work and sent me to this man charged me five thousand dollars a month didn't even do nothing didn't do a single thing and then after that, he was like, well, I could rebuild your whole site. Your site needs. So now after still about 15,000, he want to charge me more money to rebuild the site. Sir, nothing is wrong with the site. I don't went on Oprah. I don't went on Tyra. I'm making hundreds of thousands of dollars a year. Nothing is wrong with the site. And but he wanted to get more money and then didn't even say, well, I'll do the next three months of SEO for free since we over overlooked the meta tag not being changed. Didn't even offer that. Still wanted more money. Greed. So 
I say, man, never again, never again. So that's why when people come to me, somebody said, oh, I'll manage your social media. I said, how much? This was a young Asian lady. And I said, how much? She said $3,000 per network. I said, man, I got three networks right now. This is back in the day. $9,000 a month to manage my social media. It's because she saw me with hundreds of thousands of followers. She thought that I'm going to be a dummy and pay $9,000 a month. Man, I'm not a Fortune 500 company. $9,000 a month? Who can pay $9,000 a month for somebody to make social media posts that everybody and their mama and grandchild and uncle and auntie makes for free? People who ain't... People who ain't never had a phone is posting on social media, ma'am. You want $9,000? But see, listen, we live in a society of absolute, complete greed. That's why the Bible says the love of money is the root of all evil. The love of money is the root of all evil. We live in a place where people love money. People get mad at me because I up in the system. If you go to my Instagram today, which today is September 28th, you will see... Uh, diamond necklace that I have created these this diamond necklace that I posted in my story this is the same type of necklace that all of the millionaire rappers and athletes wear these jewelers are charging them one hundred thousand dollars for the size necklace that I posted 20 inches it's 20 inches long so it'll be a little, little little shorter than this this one is 22 it's 20 inches long and it's 15 millimeters so it's, it's thick, you know, it'll be a little thicker. Than, it'll be thicker than this one. This one may be six, maybe, maybe six or eight millimeters. So it'll be like 15 millimeters. So it's what is what the, the big time rappers are wearing, like 50 cent wear this type of necklace. Jewelers are charging them $100,000. I went to the source. And most of the jewelry that you see being worn, it's not natural diamonds. It's lab diamonds. But with a lab diamond, when you touch it with the diamond tester, it passes the test because it has the same properties of a natural diamond. You have to go to like an industrial tester. The eye, the naked eye cannot tell the difference between a lab diamond and a natural diamond. The only way you can tell the difference is if it's super, super glistening, like super shiny. A lab diamonds, they shine brighter than natural diamonds. And so here it is. 90% of your entertainers and rappers and all of that are actually wearing lab diamonds and don't know it. They're wearing lab diamonds and don't know it because they don't have an industrial tester. They're just watching the jeweler touch it with the, the diamond tester pin and a lab diamond passes the test. So they're, they're paying like a 1000% markup for their jewelry and they have no clue. But see, me, my background, I'm going to go to the source. I'm going to hop on the plane like Frank Lucas. I'm going to sit down. We finna have a talk. So this same necklace, when you look at this necklace, you're going to see it is lab diamond with sterling silver. The silver not going to change. But even if it changed, you could buy a new one every year and you will go 20 years before you've paid what you pay that jeweler one time. You could get 20 of these necklaces for the price that you pay that you're paying one from the jeweler and have the same exact look, have the same exact look, same weight, same look, same feel. And you even going to shine a little more. They don't know it. So you want that diamond necklace? Come on, get with me. Come on, get with me. What I'm going to sell it for? I'm going to sell it for um, five thousand four hundred. I'm going to sell it for $5,400 instead of $100,000. You see what I'm saying? And I'm going to tell you. I'm not going to tell you, yeah, this natural diamonds that come out the ground. No, this is a lab diamond. But this way everybody wearing. This is a lab diamond and this sterling silver. This sterling silver, not white gold. So, but it still looks the exact same as white gold. So why are you paying all this money for white gold when this, when this sterling silver looks the exact same way and lasts long? Come on, huh? Come on, huh? You see what I'm saying? Hey, it's time to wake up. Stop getting scammed. Start doing the research. Start trying to create stuff yourself. Become your own manufacturer. And you're going to learn that everything we got on, everything we wearing, it's a thousand. This is a shirt that I got from the manufacturer. This shirt, 
for cost eighty dollars. I went and got this shirt for eight dollars, and now I put my own logo on it. I got them back in the room. I haven't released them yet. My logo that say consistency, just like the sign say consistency, just like that diamond necklace I posted on Instagram say consistency. That's the brand. Listen, I'm gonna school y'all on business and how you could really, really get to your your earnings and make you some money without keep getting scammed out here. And you could learn how to be a renaissance man, renaissance woman. And learn how to do things on your own and create multiple streams of income. Tap in with me now. God bless you. We'll talk soon. Oh, the publishing boot camp coming up. Go to TonyGasslinAcademy.com. The publishing boot camp teaching everything about publishing A to Z. We'll talk soon.